It is the longest running Broadway musical in history. Now we can tell you the Phantom of the Opera returns to New York City's Majestic Theater October 22nd. Broadway.com correspondent Charlie Cooper talked to one of the returning stars of Phantom, John Riddle. Thanks, Samson. Audiences will be able to hear the music of the night once more once the Phantom of the Opera returns to Broadway on October 22nd. I spoke with John Riddle, who's set to return to the role of Raul in the long-running show. What do you miss most about being on the um, on stage? We're standing on 44th Street right now, which is one of my favorite streets in New York. But I miss, I really miss coming out of that subway stop right there and seeing all the people on these streets and lined up down the street to come and see our show. I, that's my favorite part about being on Broadway is the buzz and I love like walking through all the people and them having no idea who I am <laughs> and knowing that I'm gonna like go put all the makeup and the and the clothes on and then go give do this thing that I feel incredibly lucky to do and also that is so special for the people that come to see us. People come from all over the world to come see Broadway shows and specifically Phantom too. We have people truly from all over the world. So, and it's it's people that have never been to Broadway before. It's like they've never had this experience before. And so giving that to people, I think is so exciting. And I, I miss it desperately. I know that um, Phantom was the first show that you saw at yes. five years old. You've done your research. I know. <laughs> five year old you, could he yeah. have ever imagined that you would be in the show as Raw? No, I just got chills actually. <laughs> Cause here we are standing in front of the Majestic. Like I used to, this used to be sort of a fake uh, thing in my mind, it like didn't actually exist, mm -hmm. and that was sort of the feeling I had. Um, it was my first audition when I moved to New York. I auditioned for Raoul, and I think I auditioned like every year since then. Actually, since I've been in New York for wow. nine years, and um, so when I got that call, it was like it was so it was so. They they said, hey, do you want to be in Phantom of the Opera? And I said I didn't even hesitate. <laughs> yes, of course. Um, so it's it's pretty thrilling. And the first show that I my first night. Uh, on the Majestic, I definitely had a moment of, I'm in Phantom of the Opera on Broadway, like how, how special. What was that like to get that call to know that you guys were coming back? It was sort of like a sigh of relief in a way because we really didn't know what, we were sort of, it's like been in a waiting room for yeah. a year and a half and so I just find a lot of joy that for us as a whole, as a community, that we're gonna come back and do it again. I think one of the most important things that we learned this year is how important what we do in here is. And you know, bless, every, bless everything that has happened on Zoom. There's been some incredible things that we've pulled off online, but it's not the same thing as sitting in these theaters and, um, and doing the thing. That was my biggest, it was like, we're gonna, let's go back and do this and do it and do it better. Yeah, it's almost like you have this new appreciation, I imagine. Yes, yeah, and I think I think we all do, or I, I hope we do. Like a lot of things we maybe took for granted. We're just hungry for for um, the live experience again. Who I don't, was that guy? I don't know, he um, <laughs> apparently has been to Sephora and picked up <laughs> some sort of, I don't know what number foundation that is, but you, you look pretty good. It's pretty thrilling, like this guy here, this was a, like almost two years ago, so it, it's kind of a different person looking at this, at this photo is, um, kind of like staring into the past because it literally is. But this, like this moment, I can't wait to do this again. I can't wait to, um, I have been very lucky, Megan Paterno, who is also, who plays Christine. Um, we've been singing a lot together actually this year, so that's been kind of cool. We've like kept the kept the little fire alive. But it, it does make me really excited for, I can't wait to see that lineup of people.